Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, so, if I wanted to make it look three-dimensional, okay, I would do a diagonal here, diagonal line here and there, connect it, and then have this line connect to the top, okay, and that makes it three-dimensional. Okay, so I'm going to make um, some little houses here. The ones up here in the background are going to be smaller. Leave some space. We've got to do something with this hill, okay? And they don't have to be exact because we're going to come over here with the oil pastel and change them. So don't worry about how it looks right now. Um, this We're not making realistic looking houses. We want it to just be representative of a village, okay? I think maybe one more right here will do it, okay? And if you want to put in that three-dimensional look, you're certainly welcome to do that, okay? Okay, now what I'd like for you to do is uh, grab um, a black oil pastel. We're gonna do black first. And I want us to outline our cypress tree. So outline that. Okay. I also want you to outline the hill. Also, I want us to do another line uh, about a half an inch on that hill going up because be careful to jump over any houses or churches you have in the way. Okay, so your picture should look like that because we want to have these little letter C's. It it's, represents a rolling hill, okay? With the cypress tree, we want to put little squiggly lines, okay? Vertical squiggling lines, okay? And I'm also, I'm going to do it with, oh, here we are. Um, I am also going to take a red, and um, I like to put a little bit of red over there also, or red-orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this tree, this cypress tree, green. And so it'll have streaks of black and green on it. I'm also going to put in... A little bit of yellow okay so I'll put in a little bit of yellow streak just for lighting when we go to paint it okay all right now for the back of our hill I want you to take a dark green and a light green so you're gonna need a dark green and a light green and what you want to do is you want to do these little almost like letter C's and you want to just completely do it all the way up this rolling hill. That was the dark green. Now I'm going to take the lighter green and go in between. And it's okay if the black smudge is in it, that's fine. We just want to get this rolling hill kind of movement. All right, the next thing I want you to do is you're going to make your houses, you're going to outline them different colors, red, green, purple, blue, uh, grayish color. Okay, so my church, I'm actually going to outline white because most churches are white. And so I'm just gonna, whatever I drew on there, I'm gonna outline white, okay? I'm gonna do my cross in yellow. Make sure you get that white nice and thick in there. I'm gonna go around the windows. And actually I may just do a couple of white, just kind of fill it in all white. 
Okay. I am going to take my yellow and do in the windows and the door because the door is open and my cross at the top. My other houses, I think I'm going to make red and brown. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to outline them. Okay, if you want to color them in, you can. Um, I'm going to paint them though, so I'm just going to outline them. to the, do the two in the distance, this red. Ooh, okay, that broke. If you break um, an oil pastel, that's okay. I do it all the time. Okay, let me do the windows. Okay. All right, that looks good. Next, I want you to go ahead and pick back up the dark green and uh, the light green. And what we're going to do is the lines across the mountain, okay? So you're just going to do lines going across. Make sure you jump over any houses or anything in the way. Leave some space in between the two dark greens because you are going to put in the lighter green in between them, okay? And actually, I'm gonna come in here and put this one right here. Okay, that's good for that one. And now I'm doing the lighter green You really don't want to cover it all up because we are going to paint the landscape or the ground. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is I do want to put a little bit of yellow down here on the side of the, on the land, the landscape or the hill. And so I am going to take uh, the yellow again and underneath where the moon is, I'm going to show some moonlight, okay? So that there's some moonlight. Anywhere you have stars that are showing, I would put a little yellow right underneath there. Okay, just to show that there's some light reflecting. Maybe this one's reflecting down here. Maybe this one is reflecting down here. Okay, so you just want to show some light. Okay, and now we're ready to paint.